I talk about a few things. I think many of you know me because you get this constant bombardment of emails from me about everything. A lot of them are asking for money, okay, that kind of stuff. So I don't take it personally when a lot of you block me, but I know who you are. I just want, I just want to let you know that. Second thing is, you know, I've been on the job now for it's about five months, and, uh, and, and so far it's been really interesting. I've been all over the state, and I'm doing my very best to get outside of Atlanta. You know, you all know this is a big state. There's some forest fires just down the street. I was in, I've been in places in Georgia I didn't even know existed. As a matter of fact, last week, I drove around, I drove along Highway 53 for two hours with no cell reception and didn't see another car during the middle of the day. So I know it's a big state, and I'm excited to be down here tonight. Um, and I want to thank Gretchen and, and uh, all of the officers here and everybody in Lowndes County for having us down here tonight. Many of you were at the, J, the JJ dinner uh, recently, and I appreciate the support. Uh, we had a lot of support from here, and we appreciate everybody being there. I just got the final video back of the speech that was done by John Lewis, and the one voice that you can hear screaming from the background is Gretchen's yelling, yes, we can. <laughs> so I, I just want to let you know that, and I'll send you a copy of that. I mean, I'll leave it without a um, And so I want to talk about Jeff Newman for just one second. For those of you who don't know Jeff, uh, Jeff, Jeff is really the point person for what's going to happen here in 2012. And I, I think what Jeff didn't tell you is this. I, I've had several conversations with both Jim and Cena and, and other people in, at, at the White House about this, and they are convinced that Georgia will be a battleground state in 2012. And, and, and the reason that I say that and I tell you that is because there's going to be a lot of focus on what happens here. And I've watched Jeff up close, and I know what a good job he does in terms of organizing everything. He's, he's brilliant at the job that he does. When we get to January of next year, it's going to be pretty hectic, and he's going to be integral in what we do here in terms of winning the state for the president. And so he's a good guy to get to know, and I would encourage y'all to talk with him a little bit. I mean, he's, he's got some great, bright ideas. And I also want to talk for a second about our, our last speaker who's coming up, uh, you know, our minority leader, Stacey Abrams. Um, I've gotten to know Stacey pretty well, and I want to talk about leadership now. <clears throat> She's done a terrific job in the House, which is not an easy thing to do, as she will tell you. And we have very bright young leadership now in the House uh, with both Stacey and Brian Thomas. Many of you know that Steve Henson just took over to replace Robert Brown as our Senate leader. And we have a great relationship with all those folks, and so it's exciting for me be, to be here tonight to be the warm-up back for Stacy. So I know she has a lot of stuff that she'll want to talk to you about in a few minutes, but she, we're doing a great job, and I think everybody's on the same page. Um, let's talk for a minute about some things that are happening uh, with the Democratic Party of Georgia. I think many of you know when I took over <clears throat> that my roots are with the county parties, and I believe that the only way that we're going to win the state and turn it blue again is develop strong county parties and build from the ground up. I mean, we've reached the point where it's no longer appropriate, I don't think, for the Democratic Party to tell people what to do. I mean, well, we want to put as much power in the hands of the county parties as we can. You should be able to drive these elections, find your candidates, and make things work. <clears throat> so far, it's been pretty good, but we have a long way that we need to go in order to make this work. And I'm excited to see all of you here this evening because this is how you win. I mean, this is politics at its best. It's the people in this room, it's, it's taking your time out, it's making the contributions to these parties that's going to make a big difference. <clears throat> we, for too long, have been way too reactive. The, we've let the Republicans define us. <clears throat> We're not very good on message. I'm telling you a lot of stuff that you already know. And it's time for us to get a lot more proactive, and you're going to see that from us over the next several months. The other thing that we need to do is get away from Atlanta, and, and we're doing our very best to make sure that we get out into the rural areas. Um, you know, Atlanta's great. We, we can't win with just the city of Atlanta. I mean, you know, when, when you look at what has happened here in Georgia, it's almost amazing. I mean, I, I was talking a little bit earlier, I was out doing the voter registration drive not too long ago. <clears throat> we were in a very poor area where you would expect that everybody in that area with both Democratic, just because of the programs and the social programs that we offer and the way we try to help people. And to my surprise, 90% of those people identified themselves as being Republican. And almost every single time the answer was, well, we're afraid the Democrats are going to come take my guns or our guns. I can promise you, I'm not going to go take their guns. I mean, and, and but the Republicans have done a good job in getting our voters to vote against their own self-interest. The only way that we're going to fix that is if we explain to people who we are, we can't be afraid to be Democrats. 
and that's been a problem because people sometimes don't want to say it. Be proud, of, be proud of being a Democrat. Don't be afraid to say it because that's a large part of what's going to turn everything around. Um, I heard Paul Begala speak a long time ago, and, and I had a chance to sit down and talk with him after he spoke. And we talked about what it means to be a Democrat. He said something that's, all, that's always stuck with me, and that's that we are Democrats because we are brothers keepers. And in a nutshell, that sums it up. I mean, we care about people. We care, we care about individuals. We put programs in place to try to help people. You know, we're not top-down people. We are bottom-up people, and we want to do the very best we can to help people. And I think everybody needs to remember that and, and, be, and be proud of that. 